How's it going everyone? Caleb here with Layton Gaming. It's time for Nicholas A. We've got two of these uh, Charizard ETBs. Like I said, of course, these are Evolutions packs. Evolutions in here. Two of them here, man. Good luck. Start out with this one here. Come on now. There we go. Fantastic, let's get out all the packs. Like I said, even the dividers, we'll even ship the dividers for these. Pretty dang sweet. Of course, Charizard sleeves, also awesome. And the code. Even the Charizard sleeves sell for a few bucks, man. People definitely want those. Alrighty, eight evolutions now in the uh, ETB. Get into the next one then right after. Good luck here. So we got for you, Nicholas. Caterpie reverse. Mewtwo gonna be the rare. Not bad. Always take a Mewtwo rare. Got the code there. Let's see how these ones are, man. We have a hollow Charizard for you earlier, Nicholas. That was awesome. Um, like I said, it's got a chance as well. Another Raichu! We're on a Raichu hot streak here now. Holographic Raichu. Pretty cool one though. Not bad at all. Very nice. Raichu hollow. I'm moving. Alright, come on now. Magneton, Beedrill. Literally like the only thing that Evolutions is missing is um, if they would have added a reprint of um, the Blastoise and the Venusaur. That was that was really the only thing uh, that the evolutions. Nice reverse Charizard. There you go. Awesome man. Reverse Charizard. Here you go. We just got you the hollow earlier, Nick. Congrats. Awesome hit, Nicholas. Congratulations, man. Reverse Charizard. Oh, I don't doubt it, Brandon. I do not doubt it. Yeah, we only got one wall between us here, so. <laughs> Very, very nice here. Man, that's crazy. Got you the hollow earlier. Now we got the reverse. Yeah, looking like probably a nine. A little bit off left to right, definitely. Not quite as centered as the last one. But not bad. No whitening, so that's nice. Yeah, probably a nine. Just a little bit off on the front. Not quite as good as the last one. But hey, if you want one of the two to be uh, centered, it's going to be the last one. You go of course we'll still mag that grab a mag tag i mean my answer is going to be kind of boring sam but i would probably just say evolving skies to be honest um just because evolving skies the the uh the single cards in evolving skies have really really been going up in price recently like some of the cards like 20 to 40 percent increases in price Actually, like most of them, but that's kind of like a boring answer, I know, because we, like, of course, lots of people do rip evolving skies. Uh, if you're trying to think like outside the box for a booster box, um, hmm, Dark Pizza Play is definitely not bad. Kind of tough to hit the Charizard though. Um, um, Unbroken Bonds is pretty good actually. That's definitely a decent one. Canopy and Electrode. And with that being said, the Unbroken Bonds has a lot of like tag team cards and stuff like that, so that's a pretty cool one. Like I said, but my answer, yeah, kind of kind of boring, honestly. I would probably still say Evolving Skies. Uh, Vivid Voltage, not bad though, too. We've got that for a pretty good price if you do want to chase after uh, Pikachu's Clefairy and Doug Trio. Yeah, that's the uh, Fairy Energy, Brandon. Um, fairy Energy is not always in every set, so. 
That's probably why you haven't seen that one in the past. But yeah, the, the hollow energies look nice, yep. Poliwhirl and Pidgeot EX. Full art, nice. Very nice, full art Pidgeot EX. Yeah, Sam, like I said, man, the Evolving Skies singles, like, so many of them are up in price. And the sealed is just barely up in price, so... Um, really, really well done set, of course. So, in my honest opinion, it's still that. Just because um, I pretty much firmly believe that eventually... Uh, the market will catch on with Evolving Skies, and the sealed is gonna... It's gonna be at, you know, a little over 200 booster eventually here. Just because that's the way the market works. And, uh... I understand that people think that we're gonna keep getting reprints of Evolving Skies and stuff because it did just, uh, it was just recently released, but um, honestly, there's no guarantees of that with Evolving Skies just because, I will send these along for you, Nicholas. Like I said, there's just no guarantees really with the way that Pokemon has been printing recently. They've kind of just been moving from one set to the next and then once they do move on to a new set, it's kind of tough for them to go back and print the old one. They kind of got to worry about the one that they're currently on. Um, and that's exactly what we're seeing with Celebrations right now. Celebrations is being pumped out. It's being released a ton. And we haven't really seen any Evolving Skies since. So, and I mean, in about two weeks, almost exactly, there's going to be um, another new set coming. And that means that what's going to happen is Psychic Energy. There you go, Hollow. Once they do release another new set, Fusion Strike, uh, November 12th, then they're going to have to worry about printing Fusion Strike and Celebration still. And then they still would have to go back to Evolving Skies if they want to do that. So it's only going to keep getting harder and harder for them to print it. So until we actually get like a massive reprint of it, that in my opinion is still the best option right now. Reverse Pikachu. Just has some big potential, and I do think um, the sealed is probably going to shoot up eventually in the near future. Of course, we just follow the market price and stay as competitive as we possibly can for you guys. But that's just my opinion on the uh, the market side of it. Farfetched. But yeah, Darkness of Plays is a good option, and um, another good option is unbroken bonds but once again like darkness of blaze and vivid voltage those are two more sword and shield sets where it's just kind of like it's going to be really really tough for them to go back and print those now because we've already moved on to so many things past that you know electabuzz and farfetched so it's like how can they realistically say that uh they're going to go back and print darkness of blaze and vivid voltage again if they still have to deal with like four other sets that they said they're going to reprint uh before that it's just, it's, it's a strange situation, man. Strange. Magnemite and another full art Pidgeot. Two of them. Back to back ETBs, one in each. Sounds good, Sam. I'll get them ripped right after this, man. But yeah, that's just my, uh, my opinion on the market, what I've studied and what I know about it. The way that the printing works, the way that reprints work, all that stuff. Hope you guys learned at least a little bit from it. That's the way I think about things. All right, keep going. Reverse Magmar and a Slowbro EX. Oh yeah, of course, just like that, Jeff. Yep, exactly. Whatever is toughest to get your hands on. Nice Slowbro. Kakuna. Yep. Yeah, Shining Fates is definitely closing into that list, yeah. Not even wrong, man. Like I said, with some of these Sword and Shield sets that they've been promising reprints of for so long now, it's just, uh, the longer and longer that it goes on without a reprint, it's only gonna get tougher and tougher for them to actually go through with, like, a full reprint of booster boxes or anything like that. All right, Nicholas, last one here, man. Good luck. Let's see what we got. Reverse Electabuzz and a Mewtwo Rare. And a Code. Alrighty, Nicholas, that does it for the order, man. Appreciate it, as always. Two ETBs there for you, man. Got them both ripped for you. 
Congrats, some cool cards in there for sure. They'll be coming your way. Congrats on the reverse Zard. It'll be added to the counter right now, man. Good stuff. Thank you. 